and welcome back to the Reaction League. I'm JC. And I'm Marika. And we listen to you fans. We tend to do that because you actually have great taste. She doesn't know what's going on, but I do and you do because we're picking a song from a fan request. And this is a totally new artist. Okay. Yes, this artist is called Forstella. Forstella. Yes. Okay. They're a, they're a South Korean quartet that met on a show, met on a, I guess a scene competition show, I believe it's called Phantom Singer 2. And this is way back in 2017, and they really exploded onto scene in 2018, and they were on a show, I, I took some quick notes before we shot this. It performed um, on a Immortal song singing The Legend, I guess it's a show in perhaps South Korea. Okay. And they won a record breaking six times, and it was, wow. a, yeah, it was the King of Kings. And they're gonna be singing a song that I think you're really gonna enjoy it because it's one of your favorite artists. Okay. Yes. I'm intrigued. You wanna know who it is? Yes. It's King of Pop himself. That's right, Michael Jackson. They're gonna be doing some smooth criminal. Okay. Are you? Oh, are you feeling I'm, it? I'm interested. I'm always uh, curious what someone can do with one of Michael's songs. You know. Well, the fans said that we're gonna love it. So if we don't, we're coming after you, fans. Just, no, <laughs> just kidding. We love you guys. Keep sending us stuff. And what are we waiting for? Let's smooth criminal our way into our next reaction. <laughs> Do this. Reaction League time. Alright, here we go. Already seeing a Michael vibe going on. Feeling the theatrics. Smooth criminal. What? I know you're feeling the jacket. Okay, pause. So, I find myself dissecting each individual um, artist in the group because they have such variation of vocal range. So, okay. you've got the guy that's more like a low range kind of alto, and then you've got like you know, some of the others, which I don't know all the technical terms, but I think one of them may have been a soprano. Um, it's interesting. It makes me wonder, like, what they would sound like a cappella. Yeah, okay. But it's kind of cool to hear the fusion of their their vocals together for the song and how they kind of just um, complement each other. I agree. You know, I, yeah, no, I, I, what I like about them is, like you said, you said right there, there's four different vocals, and they all have elements of Michael and they're all equally strong. Like let's say there's certain groups that like boy band groups or man band groups that had man band. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to offend the you know the boy they're like, hey we're men. No, but some of these groups like let's say uh like let's say InSync. Like Lance was always the deep vocals, but yeah. you wouldn't have him carrying a full song. I don't believe he did. Mm -hmm. But it seems like these guys are all pretty equal in mm -hmm. each each one of their level their vocal range. Yeah. So that that and, and they all kind of, kind of sounded like Michael in their own that that's what I was kind of shocked. And to make them all work as one. Okay. That's tough to do. So it's a great start. Absolutely. Let's get, let's get more into it. That's what I'm saying. Every time it's to find them, there were no clues. they behind them. And the end of no ring. Wow. What the mouse is station. Something happens. Right. With the terrace, it's a arcade. There's a sign in the window that is something I can shake no end. 
I gotta pause there. That was that was pretty sweet. That harmony right mm -hmm. there. I was like, Whoa. It remind me slight. I I know this is generalization. And people in the comments will be like, no, but this is what I feel. I I felt a little pentatonics there. Yeah. Because of the harmony that, like you said, you want to see them a cappella. Yeah. I love, I loved it. And the and the fact that we said, oh, they all do different registers so well, like the bass. Mm -hmm. And then right after we went off, you know, we unpaused it. Yeah. And that guy hit us with the bass, and and it wasn't just like hitting notes. He I he wanna... stands out. His vocals, yeah. though, when he like hits that low note, like it, it, you definitely hear him. And, and they're all working great together, and that's I, that's what I like. Cause I mean, can you tell if there's a lead singer? Uh, no. I, I feel can't. like they're just jumping. They're all kind of like sharing the lead. Yeah. Just everyone has their part within the song, and then they're just kind of bouncing back and forth to each of those. I love it. All right, let's finish this up. All right. <laughs> Dance moves. Big circle, big circle, big circle. <laughs> Look. It's so funny, right? What I love about these, I'm sorry, I have to, I have to talk. No, uh, right as we think, we're like, oh, that's cool, it's cool, it's cool. You know, I'm like, oh, that was awesome. And then they hit you again. And it was with those harmonies at the very yeah. end and in the middle part, right as we were about to say something, you you literally feel they're like, smooth, yeah. I don't want to sing because I don't want to lose subscribers. But um, <laughs> you know, their harmonies were just on point. Yeah. I loved it. It was great. And it was a live performance too, so this isn't pre-recorded. Yeah, that's... and that's really hard to do because those guys weren't lip syncing and they were doing like four like full on choreography. Right. And that's really hard to be able to like sing like that and then do all the dancing and like you really gotta get your cardio and breath be able control. To keep up with that. Yeah. Yeah, the breath control they almost have so you know they're all probably pretty much classically trained. Yeah. To have that breath support while they're moving there, you know, and keeping those notes, keeping that energy throughout the whole performance. Bravo, I loved it. For Stella. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna have to shout out that fan that sent it to us. Make sure to send us, you know, all requests of anything. Well, anything you want to add to the song, or um, what I was gonna say was what you were saying. Like yeah. when you guys send us requests, be sure to give us some kind of handle or something or a name, and we'll be sure to do a shout out to you. You know, if we decide that when we're gonna do that song next, we'll make sure that we give you some love. Yeah, and definitely we're getting tons and tons of requests. So make sure to check out our Buy Me a Coffee as well. That's another way to reach out to us because we are growing this channel. Yeah. You're part of our family and. We're just starting to build our community, and you're going to see a lot of changes uh, in this evolution. Are you like, firing me? No, I'm not firing you. I just wanted to let people know, like, you know, we might have to, like, jump in there and start talking more and taking little breaks in between oh, yeah. things because we have had an issue of getting uh, blocked on YouTube a few times, just trying to get releases out, and then having to go back and put, like, copyright watermarks or different things, and maybe part of that is we're not pausing enough to discuss things because... Um, I think at first we just wanted people to be able to take in the song and then give our feedback at the end, but to appease the YouTube policies, YouTube gods, yeah. uh, we might have to take little breaks in between because we've really been battling to, to just not get blocked on, I think, maybe like the last three or four videos. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that we're able to, you know, 
put things out in a timely manner and just keep sharing the love of music with you. And thank you for the ride, guys. Join us, like we said, here on YouTube and also on Buy Me A Coffee and 